you know the you know the other one is is um when you look at when we just talked about expiring contracts with the um with the calgary flames uh, how did you see the winnipeg jets like i thought we were and I, I, listen i get it i know you know with no trade lists and winnipeg's presence on you know a, a, a lot of them I know that it's, you know, we've made the point before that, you know, Kevin Sheveldayoff may have the most difficult job as a GM uh, in the NHL because it's not as if, you know, everybody's clamoring to go to Winnipeg. But when you consider the expiring contracts that are coming up and you consider, you know, the nature of, you know, incredible seasons by players like, oh, I don't know, Connor Hellebuck, did you kind of look at Winnipeg and say, mm, I expected more out of the Winnipeg Jets? I, I did, but then I, I reconsidered that thought as this is a two-year window and uh as as much as Pierre-Luc Dubois probably wants to play in Montreal they control him for another, season. another year <laughs> I think he's gonna have to man that's that's he's an RFA I mean like like if you thought you were gonna lose him or you felt like you had to say goodbye to him don't you think they'd be they would have been more aggressive than than Nita Ryder and Nemestikov at the trade deadline uh, I do believe that. I, I do also think that they're going to get, you know, killed on this next one year deal. He's got, you know, he's arbitration eligible. And last time I checked, Pierre Luc Dubois is a pretty good hockey player. Pretty good hockey player. Yeah. So you, you absorb, I, listen, you absorb that. And then you go into next season knowing what's ahead of you, which is that Wheeler's a UFA, Shifley's a UFA, Dubois is a UFA. You make a go of it. Need a rider, That's it. Like, UFA. How many guys are you gonna walk to? How many? How many guys? You, how many guys are you gonna walk to to free agency and and not rep, like I, again? Like, I come back to it here. Like the Winnipeg Jets are a are a team that signs players for term, and they want to trade mm -hmm. for players with term because it's not like they can just get frisky in free agency every summer. Like it's mm -hmm. it's a challenge. It really is. And you and can you afford if you're the Winnipeg Jets to walk that many players to free agency? I might say no. Well, or you might say that if, if it doesn't come together within this season and next season, then you might as well just go in a different direction. They're kind of at that St. Louis Blues crossroad, right? Like like franchise mainstays are at UFA status. Like, I mean, I don't know. I, I think you make another go of it yeah. next year and then you go to the next thing. You become the team of Ehlers and, and, and Perfetti and those guys.